Hi, hi, hi. Hello, everyone. Wanted to come over with an update of the um, case of Devin Clark and Lyric Woods. <clears throat> so, this um, <clears throat> it's North Carolina devil murder from uh, Fox News has the juvenile suspect accused of killing two teens is arrested. Teenagers were found shot to death off of Buckhorn Road in a rural area of, um, I don't know where, weeks, weeks ago. Maybe, 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 I'm not sure where that is or, or how to say it. Um, but North Carolina officials have arrested the 17-year-old suspect accused of murdering teenagers Devin Clark and Lyric Woods on September 17th. Clark, 18, and Woods, 14, were found shot to death off Buckhorn Road in a rural area of Mabane, I don't know, this after, that afternoon. Their families had reported them missing after they last saw the pair who were friends on the night of September 16th. Quote, we hope this apprehension provides some relief to the families and friends of Devin and Lyric, who have experienced an excruciating loss. Obviously, the capture of the suspect does not restore their loved one to them. The grieving process is a long one, and we hope the community will continue to support them in their pain, Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood said in a Wednesday statement. Orange County officials cannot release any further information, such as the suspect's name under North Carolina law for juvenile crime suspects. And this is the picture I'd started with. These are the two of them. And then, then it goes on to say, um, quote, not only does the relevant statute prohibit the release of the juvenile's name, but also extends to the release of details such as who apprehended the individual, as well as when and where the apprehension took place. Blackwood said, we understand our community is hungry for information to help process this tragedy. However, the laws regarding juvenile confidentiality are ironclad. We have to no ability to set them aside, even given the heightened interest in this case. It is unclear how long the juvenile suspect evaded police. The sheriff office said last month that it had filed a petition to charge the juvenile suspect with two counts of first degree murder in Clark's and Woods shooting deaths. Clark was a junior at East Elements, Elements High School. I don't know if that's right or not, but um, and where he played football. Woods was a freshman at Cedar Ridge High School in Hillsboro. Another picture of her. It is unclear where the pair or what the pair were doing together when they disappeared on Friday or how they were shot dead by the afternoon of September 17th. Authorities are asking anyone with information to contact Orange County investigator Keith Goodwin at 919-245-2918. And um, I'm taking us to the top of the page. This is the 911 call that came in and um, I also have a video that I'm going to play for you after. Orange County 911, what's the address of the emergency? Um, the, the, I guess the officers probably need to respond non-emergency, but it is a pretty serious issue. Um, I would like to speak to the officer in person, um, but what we have found is we've actually discovered two dead bodies. Okay, give me one moment. What's the address as to where this is? At the, re at the residence? Yeah, what's the address as to where you found the bodies? There's not an address. It's, at a, it's, it's kind of... There's no house where we found the bodies. Okay, is there a car so or anything? Um. Is there any 
Yes, it's, it's at the end of East Buckhorn and Yarborough Road. Okay. Give me one moment. <clears throat> And what's the telephone number you're calling me from? Um, the telephone number is my cell phone number. And what is that? I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. And uh, where exactly, um, near this location, what? did you find them? The what? Exactly where are the bodies? Um, it's, there's a, there's a power, there's a, like a, mm -hmm. an, there's an access to, like, where the power company cut a road in. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're, they're just laying around on the side of the road. Okay, we're going to go ahead and notify an officer and have them to come out and speak with you in reference to this. Is there any need for me to meet the officer there to show them where this is, or do you think they can find it? Or um, If you could, just remain on scene so they can um, know where to locate it. All right, I'll, all right we'll, we'll, be, we'll, we'll go back to the scene, because we, we came home, we were on a on a four-wheeler, mm -hmm. and we were we were actually putting out deer corn, and we discovered them, okay. and so we, so we actually came home, and I let my dad know what was going on, and show me what to do, okay. so so we'll, we'll actually go drive back there, and we'll meet the police officers, and show them where they are. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. You look Okay, so that was the 911 call that came in, and it did say it was by uh, people on four-wheelers, so um, then we also have a video here that talked about it. The community is still in shock tonight. Jamise Price live now at the Orange County Sheriff's Office to explain where the case goes from here. Jamise? Steve, the next steps includes determining if this case will remain in the juvenile court system, but legal experts who have followed this case closely say that is highly unlikely due to the seriousness of those charges. It's a case that stunned the community. It is a very serious accusation, very serious prosecution. Two teens gunned down a little more than two weeks ago. The bodies of 17-year-old Devin Clark and 14-year-old Lyric Woods were found on a trail in Orange County after their families reported them missing. The suspect, a 17-year-old, is now in custody, something the victim's families and this community have been waiting for. The law enforcement process works much slower than uh, how people would uh, want it to, uh, to proceed. But it's better that they get it right than that they rush through and procedurally run into some legal hurdle. With the suspect in custody, there's an even bigger push for information. Who is this teen? Where was the teen apprehended? And what are the connections between the suspect and the victims? NCCU law professor Irving Joyner says under North Carolina's Juvenile Justice Act, details surrounding the case are limited due to the suspect's age. This is a situation, one, involving a juvenile. So both sides of the coin will want to ensure that all of the legal steps are properly navigated through uh, such that the rights of the, uh, the uh, suspect uh, are protected. But Joyner doesn't anticipate this case will remain in the juvenile court system. Mainly because of the uh, seriousness of the offense. Here you're talking about two counts of first degree murder. And I spoke briefly today with Devin Clark's mother, who says that she wants justice in this case, justice for her son. Now, Sheriff Charles Blackwood here in Orange County also said the apprehension of this suspect will not bring Lyric Woods or Devin Clark back. But he hopes the community continues to pour into the families of those victims as they continue to grieve. In Orange County, I'm Janice Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Jamisa, we have so many unanswered questions that may not come into focus unless this case does move to adult court. We appreciate your reporting on it tonight. Thanks.
Yeah, that would be nice if it moves to juvenile court, right? That would be nice. And then we could actually know some of these questions that we have and get answers to it. That would be that would be really nice. But at least there is an arrest. So there is something positive out of this right now. And it is moving forward in the system. So um, there is something that is good for the families and um, continue to uh, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, I will talk to all of you very soon. Thank you.